Happy Cinco de Mayo and a happy Hawaiian night, everybody. Joseph Zakshesky with you and so glad you could join us for another Ice Hogs Rewind, where tonight we celebrate our 2018 Hawaiian night, where the Ice Hogs would do battle against the San Jose Barracuda at BMO Harris Bank Center. And of course, we'd love to bring a little tropical vibe to your Tuesday evening. I know it's in Rockford raining a little bit, so hopefully this brings a little sunshine to your day and the start of a new week. The Ice Hogs had flowers all over the BMO and of course wore these amazing tiki hands jerseys i had to get one for myself they're probably one of the more popular jerseys we've had here in the last couple of years so tip of the cap to the designers of the tiki hammy jersey how's your week going so far well it's going so far so good here with us we're still broadcasting from home still bringing you these ice songs rewind so far no new news on the ahl front in terms of any returning hockey or anything like that so we'll keep our ears to the ground when it comes to uh, any of the latest and greatest updates involving the american hockey league season well i hope your weekend is going or week go is going pretty well i know uh Star Wars Day was yesterday. Had a lot of fun on the Ice Hawks social media channels, uh, giving away some prizes there. And we'll announce the winners uh, on those channels here uh, pretty soon. So Star Wars Day was a nice Monday, and then we got Hawaiian today. So a nice little fun graduation into the week for us. Well, I do have some news for you that I'd love to dive in and, and need your support for. Tomorrow, Wednesday, is Nurses Day across the country. And obviously, without our nurses on the front lines working to help fight COVID-19 here in the state line community and all across the globe, uh, we'd be in trouble. So we want to give a special thanks to all the nurses that are helping us out uh, throughout this crisis in the state line community and across the map. And by doing so, I would love to have the Ice Hogs Hometown Heroes program loaded with nominations of nurses that you might know. And you can find that nomination form at icehogs.com. It's right on the front page. And all day tomorrow, Wednesday, for Nurses Day, I would love to cover the entire social media gauntlet with special thanks and messages from their loved ones to them for sacrificing their time and uh, time away from friends and family and, of course, the risking their health as well, helping out our community. So nominate your nurse at icehogs.com for their Hometown Heroes program. And with that as well, the Ice Hogs still running their donation programs to help benefit nursing programs, making masks, community programs, uh, you know, feeding the hungry, you name it with the Ice Ox Charitable Foundation, and you can join that cause as well. A $10 donation gets you a ticket to an Ice Ox game for next season. It gets a first responder and an essential worker a ticket as well. And also, all $10 Every single penny is going to those local community programs. You can find more information about that at icehogs.com as well. And then lastly, before we dive into Hawaiian night tonight and Taco Tuesday, uh, our next Ice Hogs Rewind is going to be on Friday night, 6 o'clock. You can catch it right here on the Ice Hogs Facebook page, on YouTube, and icehogs.com. We're going to go back same year, 2018, when the Ice Hogs would host Rockford Peaches Night and Pink in the Rink. So we already had a lot of great Ice Hog Rewinds for Hockey Fights Cancer Night, watching those lab jerseys flying up and down the ice and supporting a great cause we want to continue that fun with the pink ice and the rockford peaches baseball jerseys that uh, took place a couple of seasons ago so again that next ice songs rewind will be on friday night at six o'clock well let's not waste any more time let's have a great luau together everyone happy hawaiian night and enjoy tonight's ice hogs rewind for membership information, look for them up on the web at rockfordymca.org. Jeff Glass in goal for the Ice Hogs this evening. 4-1-0 over his last five. Appearance 27 on the year with a record of 14-8-2. Victor Svenberg will be on defense to get things started with Cody Franson, Tyler Sakura, Henrik Samuelson, and Matthew Highmore, the starting forward line. For the San Jose Barracuda, Stefan Williams will be in goal for them. Just his fourth appearance on the year. He is 1-0. Adam Simic will be on the blue line with Julius Bergman. Brandon Mashinger, the former Ice Hog, out there with Alexander True and Colby McCauley. Head coaching matchups for the Ice Hogs. Jeremy Collin and man in the bench with Derek King and Sheldon Brookbank. It is Roy Sommer with Ryan Abushanel on the San Jose side. Ice Hogs celebrating Hawaiian night wearing their Hawaiian theme uniforms. They'll be going from left to right here in the opening period. Puck is down and we are underway. From the Forest City, Ice Ox will swing this one in. Right wing side, Sakura near boards. He'll backhand it around, carries up the far wing. Highmore could not handle it. It will come back out to center ice in the Barracuda. They'll just power this one up the right wing. Cannot get it into the zone, though. Alexander True threw it off the linesman's second effort. It'll now go back behind the net of Jeff Glass. Carries up the near wing. Franzen out of the right wing corner. Will break it out. He's got Svedberg ahead of him. Victor Svedberg to the red line. He'll just dump it on in. And straight to the catching glove of Williams. He'll keep play moving along. 
First minute of hockey here at the BMO. The Rockford Ice Dogs and San Jose Barracuda getting together. Both teams trying to keep their playoff push moving the right direction. Ice Dogs, winners of their last three points in 10 of the last 11 for San Jose. They picked up points in each of their last two contests. Rockford back behind their own net down to our left-hand side. Jeff Glass directing traffic. Puts it up the far wall and ends up bouncing away from Lance Boma. Ice Hawks collect, and here's Adam Clendenning. Clendenning lead pass intended for Boma across the way. And this one stuck away at the last moment. Adam Simic got a stick on it. He'll deflect it up the far boards. San Jose will put it to the opposite blue line, but the Ice Hawks will collect. Barracuda are making a line change here. Puck pops out to center ice. Here's Anthony Lewis across the line. Lewis right wing side for Christy Domenico. Di Domenico down to the bottom of the circle. Centers it out in front. And this one gets away from Williams. But the Barracuda come up with it far wing. Ruark Chartier to the red line. That's all he can get. Lewis on the turnaround. Fires just over top of the glove hand of Williams. And he'll carry into the near corner. Bad turnover there by the Barracuda. And... Anthony Lewis had himself daylight down the left wing. San Jose will jump it out to center. They almost cough it up again, but William Peltier overskates the puck. And now the Barracuda will just dump it all down and finish up their change here. First two minutes gone by here in the opening period. No score between the two clubs. No shots so far. Ice Hawk trying to get it out of their own zone, but feeling some heat along the near boards. Not going to lose Adam Haluka on the San Jose side. Haluka gets to the blue line. He's got Jacob Middleton. Middleton fires, patted down by Jeff Glass. Rebound. He keeps it in front of him and melts it down. He was sliding every which direction, trying to find that loose puck. But eventually holds on tight, and that'll give us our first whistle and the chance to welcome back to the broadcast. And it's Tim Matilla, and Matilla right now, the Ice Hawks playing some great hockey bank picture. Three game winning streak points in 10 of their last 11. And especially with a little over two weeks left in the regular season, it's a prime time to start playing some of your best hockey. Yeah, it's pretty exciting because when you see that, because typically the Blackhawks are still in it, so they're taking guys away from us. Now we got Highmore back, and who knows when we're going to get back, right? I mean, so it, it could be a, an awesome run. Matthew Highmore just arrived to the club from Chicago the other day. He helped contribute an assist on Wednesday in a 4-3 victory over Manitoba. That was Rockford's last game action. Part of a two-game sweep of the Manitoba Moose up at Bell MTS Place in downtown Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. 4-2 on Monday, 4-3 on Wednesday. They come home tonight, but then we'll go on the road for the next four through Texas and then eventually ending up in Iowa. San Jose pulling the puck all the way back inside their own zone. Now they'll throw it out to center. Right to left, they're working it, but they only got it to the red line. And there was Victor Svenberg. He'll knock it away and dump it right back in. Barracuda looking for the breakout. Two teams trying to feel each other out a little bit. I know it's come down to the nitty-gritty part of the season, but again, this is just the second and final meeting between the two clubs. Ice Hawks trying to slip on through. They got Sakura breaking across the line up the middle. Got a good backhanded pass across from Henrik Samuelson. Banked off his skates, though, and out to center. The Barracuda will regroup. Down the left wing boards in a hurry is Noah Rod. Rod will throw it into the near corner. There it's picked up by Sam Warning. Warning, a rookie to the San Jose group. Lost control, and back out to center comes Adam Clendenning. Clendenning, far wall, goes across the near side. For Highmore, lost it in skates. Kicked it up to his stick, but took a healthy shoulder. Coming back on the back check was Noah Rod, who had to hustle back to catch up to the speedy Highmore. And now San Jose will regroup in their own zone. They'll throw it out to the blue line. Ice Hawks thought they kept it in. Chris Domenico got a turnover right on top. Of that blue line, but the linesmen say no, and that'll be an offside call. Four minutes gone in the first period, no score. Shots on goal, two to nothing belonging to San Jose. Ice Hogs have had a couple of looks, just nothing on goal yet. Tonight's, oh, oh sorry. Well, Tonight's, my, my question is, where, where was San Jose the last couple days? Did they just fly in here, or have they been in the Midwest, like playing somebody else here locally? Uh, this tonight wraps up a two-game Midwest trip. They were in Grand okay. Rapids last night, suffered a shootout loss, and then they're here in Rockford, and then we'll head back home to San Jose, California, and wrap up against all Pacific Division foes. In fact, all California teams. So opportunities to be had there to pick up some crucial points. Delaying call coming up here. It's going to be against Rockford. Williams will start to make his way out of the goal crease for San Jose. So we're going to get ourselves the game's first infraction, and it's going to go against Chris Domenico. Two minutes for Punking, and it looks like he might pick up an unsportsmanlike conduct to boot. Ooh. At least that's what referee Sean Davis is motioning across the way to the scorer's table. So that'll put the Ice Hogs in a little bit of a pickle here early on. Indeed, four minutes go uh. up on the board to Chris Domenico. 
Did not like what the, uh, the he had to say to the officials and Mr. Sean Davis. So tacked him on for two more. San Jose, their power play has been working rather well recently. Four game power play goal scoring streak going five for 17. Overall this year, they are 22nd in the American Hockey League. They've actually been hovering around overall numbers very similar to the Rockford Ice Hogs, but they've also been playing here recently very similar to the Ice Hogs, which the man advantage has been clicking. So hooking an unsportsmanlike conduct, the calls against Chris Domenico, chances one and two for San Jose on the power play. Ice Hogs, though, get the clear away and both teams will make some quick changes here. Still early in the hockey game, 15 minutes to go. First period action, San Jose right to left will break it out. Simic through the neutral zone. We'll hit up the blue line and dump it on through. Rings around the boards and Sakura will pick it up at the far goal line. Bangs it up the boards, that will come to center. And taken by Julius Bergman. Bergman up the near wing for Simic, coughs the puck up. Here come the Ice Hawks shorthanded. Tanner Caro up the middle of the ice. Rister gets blocked down and the Barracuda will get it back. Tanner Caro, two goals for the Ice Hogs in that victory against San Jose back in January. And that was a part of a nice 4-2 win for the Ice Hogs on the road in California. A nice California swing for them through Bakersfield, San Jose, and Ontario. And doing some damage out on the West Coast. Ice Hogs will get another clear. Graham not an open ice collision well away from the puck. He and Jacob Middleton collide, and Middleton's going to come up hobbling. Will make his way back to the Barracuda bench. Graham Nott appears to be okay. He'll stay in the play. So a tough one there. Jacob Middleton, one of the goal to blue liners for San Jose's head coach and Roy Sommer. Barracuda left wing will chip this up the wall and it'll end up going up over the plexiglass and that will give us a whistle. 2.16 left on the double minor handed out to Christy Domenico for hooking as well as an unsportsmanlike conduct. No score, 14.04 to play in this first period of action. Well, we've done a nice job of not letting them set up. I've not seen them set up at all in the offensive zone. Ice songs in the draw right in front of their bench. They'll just quickly fire this one all the way down. Alexander True will pick it up. True, a goal and an assist last night against Grand Rapids. Jake Middleton, who just left the ice hobbling, he also had a goal and an assist for San Jose in the Shootout loss, true, left wing side, through center, now trying to go across the ice, far wing, ramps off the stick, does land in the corner, and Adam Haluka will pick it up there. Haluka out to the blue line, looking for his target, left wing point, and Mac, Makowiski, pardon me, and Makowiski jams this one out in front of Jeff Glass. Goes off his stick and ends up in the near corner. True will dig it out. Makowiski will knock it free, turns it right over to Victor Svenberg. Svenberg around to the far side, cannot clear it away, held in. Right Adam Simic. Simic, though, gives it right back over to the Ice Hogs. They'll just jam this out to center ice and dump it on down. 114 left on the four minute penalty kill for the Rockford Ice Hogs. Barracuda wrapping up a change here. Mikowski, right wing side, will get one final breakout before heading out for a change himself. Up along the far wing for Brandon Mashinter. Mashinter down to the far corner. Delay call coming. This is going to be against San Jose. Ice Hawks will stretch it out, and Boma's going to have a break. Boma fires. Left pad save coming from Williams. And that will bring the touch to San Jose. It'll be a cooking call against the Barracuda. But what a heads up play by the Ice Hawks to find Lance Boma about a half a stride behind the defense and got himself a good jump. This penalty will be going against Manuel Wiederer, rookie out of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, product of Degendorf, Germany. So he will take a seat, and that will cancel out the final 49 seconds of the San Jose power play. So four on four for the first time, and then the Ice Sox will go on their first crack of the power play. Face off to the right-hand side of Stefan Williams. Rockford Dell will lose the draw. San Jose will slide it out to center, and now Rockford will go all the way back behind their own net. Matthew Highmore looking around. He'll go to Darren Radish right wing. Radish out to center, trying to go back to Highmore. Turns the puck over. Now San Jose with the jump. Backhander, uh. they score! Sam Warning jumps up, and without warning, bursts past the defense and puts it on a backhand. A four-on-four -four goal, the Barracuda strike to make it one to nothing.
Yeah, we turned that puck over and they finished. We had an opportunity down here and we couldn't finish. Well, Simic came back so hard that Boomer really couldn't deke, so he had to shoot. He had more time, so he could deke on this one. Tremendous speed from Sam Warning coming up from Quad City of the ECHL, where he's been the last couple of seasons. Product of the University of Minnesota, and he separated himself quickly from the defense, had plenty of time, and he walked right around Jeff Glass for the one to nothing lead for Warning. That is his second goal of the game, just his 18th game of the year here tonight with the Barracuda since coming up from the ECHL and with speed like that. If you can cash in like that, you'll find yourself a home rounder quickly in the American Hockey League. Well, now the power play going to work for the Rockford Ice Sox as Domenico comes down to the box. Ice Sox looking to tie things up. Here's Glenn Denning, fires into the chest of Williams. Rebound gets pushed wide. Henrik Samuelson and Tyler Sakura will crash in the blue paint. Just could not get it through. Ice Hogs have it cleared back out to center, but here's Di Domenico bringing it back in. Di Domenico, left wing circle, dishes this one off to Adam Clendenning. He'll go across to Cody Franzen at the right wing point. Franzen over to the far side for Di Domenico, fakes the shot, walks to the deep slot. Now comes over to the right wing circle. Di Domenico looking across the ice. He's got Franzen. Franzen to the near point for Clendenning, fakes it back to Franzen. One timer and a pad save by Williams. Rebound behind the net for Di Domenico. Goes to the far circle. He's got Franzen pinching down. San Jose trying to find him. They cannot track it away on to Luke Johnson joining the fun Johnson to the right point for Clendenning right wing circle for Chris Domenico. back to Johnson and hits off his stick and actually angles back out to center Hogs will tag back up quickly Franzen brings it back in backhander ahead he's got Tyler Sakura at his legs knocked out from underneath them but play moves on Domenico left wing side gets tied up San Jose puts it to the red line and now out of the box for them is going to be Wiederer so we return to five on five, but the Ice Hawks have it. Glenn Denning, race shot into the belly of Williams, who holds on tight. Williams wasn't quite sure it was underneath him, but he will sit on it. And that'll give us our first timeout of the hockey game. San Jose, opportunistic, they get a turnover, and Sam Warning bursts in for a breakaway goal. They lead one to nothing with 10.27 to go in the opening period. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hawks hockey on the Ice Hawks broadcast network. Hi, this is Mike Barber. To the assisted living for a family member or friend, please know that we're committed to providing a lifestyle for our residents that emphasizes family, friends, and community. Hi, my name's Rita. My mother's a resident at Crimson Point. I can tell that she's happy living here. She likes to be active. Crimson Point has active programs that take people out on different trips, they take them shopping. There's things during the day for them to do, and it's all on a predetermined schedule, so everybody knows when it's going on and where it's happening. And we did look at other facilities, and Crimson Point seemed to have the best programming, meal plan, and, and everything else that she needed to support her needs. They have a variety of activities to meet educational needs, social needs, any type of religious affiliation you might have, psychological and physical. So my mother got meets everything that she wants. Crimson Point Senior Living of Perryville by Crimson Ridge. To learn more about our community, stop in and take a tour or visit us on the web at life at crimsonpoint.com. 10.27 to go in the opening period. The Rockford Ice Songs trail the San Jose Barracuda one to nothing. Sam Warning with the goal for San Jose, skating four on four. Time of that tally comes in 7.49. Both teams just saw their first power plays come to a close. Ice Hogs 0 for 1. Barracuda 0 for 2 as they got four minutes of time. Thanks to Christy Domenico. But the Ice Hogs looking to even things up. Here's Lance Boma, drops it off for his man and Carl Dahlstrom. Dahlstrom hooked up and another penalty is coming. Dahlstrom had a stick in his midsection. And the Ice Hogs will keep it alive. Here's Dahlstrom, fires left pad saved by Williams and a good one through traffic. Barracuda will get the touch. And another power play coming up here for the Hogs. Dahlstrom on a drop pass from Lance Boma. Look to wind up and Jacob Middleton in his first shift back since taking that awkward hit with Graham Knott. Got a stick in his midsection, so the power play right back to work for the Ice Hogs. Well, Boma looks really good. Now, you've watched this team a lot more than I have, obviously. Has he been playing a lot better? Because he really looks like a standout right now. Stepped up his game. Three goals and two assists over his last four okay. for Lance Boma. And it's time since coming down from Chicago. Ten points in 13 games for the eighth-year pro. Luke Johnson looking to get this power play set up. 
Off the face off, gives this one over to Adam Clendenning at the right point, rising wrist shot, and this one goes up over top of Stefan Williams. Takes a funny hop off the backboard, jumps all the way out to the blue line. Di Domenico will control. Here's Di Domenico, centers it out in front, goes across for Franson, couldn't get a one timer. Franson far circle, on a Clendenning deep slide across for uh, Di Domenico, fires one timer, fought off by Williams, rebound, pushed up the near boards. Clendenning jumps in. 50-50 gamble there, Rudolph's Balsers. Their leading score for San Jose, almost chipped it around him. But the Ice Hogs will regroup in the neutral zone. Here's Di Domenico trying to split the defense. One on three battle there, won't quite work out his way. And the Barracuda will once again clear it on down. One nothing San Jose Ice Hogs with a minute 14 left on the power play. 9.08 to go in the first. Luke Johnson bringing this one back through center ice. Left to right come the Hogs. On to Di Domenico, far wing. To the point for Adam Clendenning. Back to Di Domenico. Middle of the ice, Johnson. Hurries his pass off to Clendenning. Works it to the deep slot. Now over to the far wing. Has his man in Di Domenico again. Over to the right wing side. He's got his man in Dahlstrom. Dahlstrom to Clendenning. Fires into the belly of Williams who holds on tight. Stefan Williams hasn't seen a lot of action in the American Hockey League this year. Comes up from the Allen Americans. But he has been in rather nicely with Allen. 34 appearances going 9, 12, and 1. He has seen AHL action before. Split time between the Missouri Mavericks of the ECHL and the Bridgeport Sound Tigers in the American Hockey League over the last two seasons. It's only appearance number four on the year for him. His first two came on in relief of his backup in Antoine Bebo. But Bebo in action last night in Grand Rapids the night off tonight. Ice Hogs working it still on the power play for another 42 seconds. Anthony Lewis right circle. Great move. Frees up some space. Had a man fall right around him. That was true. Anthony Lewis to the blue line. He's got his man Dahlstrom. Dahlstrom backhanded pass. Back over to Lewis. Hurrying it along to the middle of the ice. Here's Dahlstrom. Deep slot. Brister on the way. Just sent it wide. Puck tied up in the near corner. San Jose will win the battle. And clip it out to neutral ice. Good movement for the Ice Hogs in a tight Space up along the right wing boards. Matthew Highmore bringing it back in for the Hogs now. Highmore up the far wing. Goes across the ice for Lewis. Had to go between legs. And the Hogs will catch a break there. Anthony Lewis right wing side. Goes down to the near corner. Looking for options. He's got True powered up with him. Alexander True. Gets it over to Highmore on the turnover. Out of the box comes Middleton calling for the puck. Ice Hawks need to hurry back. Middleton, not as much of a jump in his step, so they will track him down. He'll just turn and fire from outside the blue line. It'll deflect off the stick of Darren Radish, and will go up and out of play. 7.47 to go in the first period. The Rockford Ice Hawks trail the San Jose Barracuda. One to nothing. Ice Hawks now 0 for 2 on the power play. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hawks hockey on the Ice Hawks broadcast network. It's the heart. Who's most qualified to help? There's only one. Amco, kitchens and baths. The kitchen is the heart of your home. At Amco, we partner on each design, ensuring accuracy and the best use of space. Amco has a cure for that one out heart of your home. And Paul Johnson, owner of Amco Kitchens and Baths. Paul, do you pay more for all these expert designers and the vast selection at Amco? Absolutely not. We're Rockford's factory direct kitchen source. So is a cabinet distributor. Our prices are unbeatable. You can get the best design, the best selection, and the best value. That's the Anco Advantage. For budget or high-end, Anco Kitchens and Baths is definitely where you'll get the most for your money. Remember, you can drive all the way to Rockford and never find a better price. A-N-D-C-O-N-C-O Kitchens and Baths Ice Hawks trail the San Jose Barracuda, one to nothing. 7.47 to go in the opening period. San Jose, when they strike first, a record of 19-3-3-2. Ice Hawks out of their own zone after a shot was deflected out of play. They'll bring it left to right back to center and skip it on goal. Stephon Williams coming up big for the Barracuda, especially after back-to-back -back power plays for the Ice Hawks. Rockford, eight shots on goal. San Jose with just three. But their tally came off the blade of rookie Sam a warning bursting into the offensive zone and able to get some speed behind the defense and work it right around and outstretched Jeff Glass. Rockford though back in the offensive end right wing side lands Boma looking to the point for Darren Radish that won't quite work out his way and 
San Jose will slide it on down. Glass will come out to handle it. Right up the middle of the ice, he will go to Boma. Boma cuts to the right side. Now backhands it to the neutral zone. Knocked down there. And handling it for the Barracuda is Noah Rod. Rod, fifth-year pro. Last four years, though, have been over in Switzerland. So first North American campaign for him. He'll lose control in the neutral zone. Drops this one off. The Michael Brodzinski will blast it on down. Ice Hogs back behind their own net. will move it up the right side. Robin Norell moves it along. He's got Graham Nod into the offensive zone. Overskates the puck. It'll trickle back out to center. Cody Franzen is there. Franzen will go up ahead and across the ice for Victor Svenberg. Dumps it in. Delayed offside, however, against the Ice Hogs, so they have to quickly tag back up. San Jose with some extra time. Here's Jacob Middleton. Middleton up the middle for Wiederer. He'll deflect it down to the far corner, and Franson will pick it up. Cody Franson rings around his own end board. Comes up right wing side for Norell, who will just dump it on into the right wing corner. Robin Norell moved back up to a forward position here this evening out the last game. Nathan Knoll, the healthy scratch for the Ice Hogs this evening. Other than the usual unfortunate suspects for the Ice Hogs. Tyler Sakura, left wing side, will dump this one in. Stopped by Williams behind the net. San Jose quick on the breakout. Ruart Chartier, second year pro out of the WHL, will angle this one into the offensive zone. Quickly stolen by Adam Clendenning, and the Ice Hogs right back to work. Here's Matthew Highmore. Highmore carving his path into the zone, drops it off for Clendenning at the right point, and he fires it up over top. The net may have gone off a stick. William Peltier catches it as it comes around to the far corner. Now to the top of the circle, gets slashed off of his blade and out to center, but Sakura will handle it. Tyler Sakura, quick touch back over to Peltier, who will tag up, but he'll send it into his own zone. Isaac forwards trying to make a change here. Adam Clendenning taking a look around. Out there with Carl Dahlstrom this evening, on to Luke Johnson up the near side. Johnson by his own bench, now up the far wall. Goes to Tanner Carroll, will dump it down. Johnson will pick it up, puts it on the back end, rings it up the near side, Brandon Mashinter. Will control for San Jose and guide this one back out to center ice. Ice Hawks waiting for it at the red line. Dahlstrom will blast it right back in. Carries all the way up the near wall for Darren Radish. Radish right point. His wrists are wide. Angles perfectly behind the net for Tanner Carroll at the far circle. But Carroll couldn't do anything. He was open to center and taken away by Nick DeSimone. DeSimone to center ice, turns the puck over, lead pass the other way for William Peltier, and Peltier hooked up, spun like a top, more like held. That will be the appropriate call. He was trying to find it in skates, but he was held on to and just spun around a few times. So an easy call for the officials to make. Alexander True will take his seat. The Ice Hogs awarded their third power play of the period. 425 left in it. They trail one to nothing. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network. Hi, this is Mike Barr with Crimson Point Senior Living. If it's time to consider assisted living for a family member or friend, please know that we're committed to providing a lifestyle for our friends and community. Hello, I'm Bill Henning. I live here at Crimson Point. My daughter's a physical therapist and uh, she began searching for a place for me and uh, this place was highly recommended and she and her husband came over to check it out and they were basically, you're going to like it, that is nice. It's what you'd expect, it's a, it's a place that uh, is friendly, uh, very helpful because everybody's new when they first come here, and that's, that's awkward as heck. And you, you've had changes in your life when you come here and uh, but everybody understands that and, Everybody's very helpful, so I'm well taken care of. Crimson Point Senior Living on Perryville by Crimson Ridge. To learn more about our community, stop in and take a tour or visit us on the web at life at crimsonpoint.com. 4.25 to go in the opening period. The Rockford Ice Sox down one to nothing to San Jose, but go back on the power play. They win the faceoff and score! Draw to the left side of the San Jose net. Ice Sox get it back clean and Adam Rifles it home just three seconds into the power play and back into action. So just like that, the Ice Hogs have tied things up at one off an absolute bomb from Adam Clandanning from the right wing points. Well, a couple things I was going to mention. I think Luke Johnson's played outstanding. He's made some great passes. He's back checked very hard. He's he's been a standout player. And then that faceoff was tape to tape from the from the dot to the blue line, and then Clendenning finished. 
So I think Luke Johnson's having an outstanding game. Adam Clendenning picks up goal number five on the year, but what has been an impressive couple of games for him, that is now two goals and four assists. Six mm -hmm. points over his last two games and a little bit less than a full period. He has been playing fantastic here recently for the Rockford Ice Dogs and grabs a big one on the power play. In fact, that is his second power play goal for the Hogs this year. Goal and 11 assists coming in on the man advantage. So the Ice Hawks strike. They're now one for three. And it's a tie ball game at one aside with 3.50 to go in the first period. Quick way to establish a little offensive zone dominance there. You mentioned the clean face off win. They worked the puck to the middle of the ice. Plenty of traffic in front. And bang, it's a 1 1 game. San Jose looking to respond though. Right wing side, Middleton. Throws it to the top of the circle, intercepted. Ice Hawks going up, go off of skates, and Christy Domenico, left wing side for Anthony Lewis. Lewis takes a body, gets bumped, but comes out to the blue line on a turnover. Clendenning has it. Clendenning, little swagger in his step, centered it up for Hamp Samuelson, and could not get it through. Rudolph's Balsers will take control, gets it back out to center ice. Balsers, great youngster in this San Jose Sharks organization. Ninth among rookies this year with 41 points, 18 goals. Leads this San Jose group as well as his overall point production coming out of Kelowna of the Western Hockey League, but also played overseas for a good little while in Latvia and Norway. Ice Hawks take it away from him though. Henrik Samuelson in the right wing corner, operating with Tyler Sakura. Samuelson backhanded centering attempt, knocked his side. Balser's got a piece of it, puts it to the top of the circle. Sakura coming over in support. He'll go back down the near wing for Matthew Highmore in the corner. Lost his footing, and the Barracuda will grab it back. Two and a half to play in the first period. A 1-1 contest. Emerson Clark will bring it out to center ice for the Barracuda. Now just dump it down. Jeff Glass out to handle it. Left wing side. Ice Hawks picking up some speed. Madison Acapelli bursting down the far wing. Goes across for Graham Knott. Puck jumping. Couldn't handle it cleanly. And now the Barracuda the other direction. Here's Brandon Mashinter right wing circle. Mashinter drops it off to the blue line. Looking for the race shot. In and out of the glove of Jeff uh, Glass. Roos puck ends up banging off the outside of the net. And pushed out to the blue line. Held on to, though, from a deep shot, Julius Bergman. This one blocked into the far corner. Jeff Glass coming way out to challenge and got up just enough of it to send it wide as that puck had an opportunity to go between the gap between the left leg and the post, but hits the outside of the cage. Inside his own zone, sitting back, Luke Snuggerud. He'll wait for the Ice Hawks to change up. He and Darren Radish playing catch. 136 to go in the first period. Radish up the middle for William Peltier. Peltier left wing side will backhand it all the way down to the far corner. Rims around the boards and held on to at the left wing side by Jacob Middleton. Middleton will bounce this one back in the neutral ice area for San Jose. Now goes across for John Martin. Martin in a good stick battle with Victor Svenberg, and Svenberg will win out. He'll throw it back into his own zone. Safe play for Cody Franson, and now Franson on the breakout. Right side for Johnson. Nifty stick handling to get into the zone. On to Svenberg. Fires. Just missed the net to the stick side. A step on Williams. You talked about the play of Luke Johnson. How about that nice move to free up some space and time and allow Victor Svenberg to jump in for that hammer of a shot. Less than a minute to go in the first period. Ice Ox continuing the pressure. Out shooting San Jose 10 to 6, but they really control the puck possession game. And as soon as I say that, the puck will go off a stick and deflect up and out of play. So that'll bring a quick timeout. 1-1 one, one game. Well, I'll tell you, I think we look absolutely outstanding right now, the way we're moving the puck. I mean, you obviously watch us more than I do. But I, this is about as good as I've seen them in a long time. It's a confident bunch, too. <laughs> to make those plays, you have to be confident. Yeah in your abilities and just like Luke Johnson working down the right side to stick handle and cut to the middle shows a lot San Jose will win the draw out at center ice after that puck was knocked out of play they'll just dump it on in Jeff Glass will come out to handle it Ice Hogs will stretch things out to the neutral zone hard pass looking for Tyler Sakura won't work out goes down Lance Boma is there he's gonna break up the icing call Boma out to the left wing point has his target and that's going to be Clendenning. Clendenning at the far point for Carl Dahlstrom. He'll dump it on in and bear it back to handle it. And out to center ice come the Barracuda. Down the right side is Noah Rod. Puts it into the far corner of Glass. Ice Hawks ship it up the wall. Sakura, one hand on his stick. He gets to the blue line, not out. Second effort. That'll go on down. And it should be enough for an icing call. It will, but it comes right as the horn sounds. 
to end the first period of action. San Jose struck first, Sam Warning on a breakaway at 7.49, made it one zip. But the Rockford Ice Hogs on the power play. Adam Clendenny, his fifth from Luke Johnson at 15.38, has it at one aside. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed right now. I mean, we look uh, outstanding. Obviously, it's one-to-one, -one, but that's the randomness of hockey. But I think we've all played them. Coming up in the Down Dimensions first intermission report, we'll take a spin through the out-of-town scoreboard, break down this action. We should have a special guest joining us here on the program, Brian Bickle, who will be joining us as well, three-time Stanley Cup champion, as well as a former Ice Hog and Chicago Blackhawk. It'll be nice to catch up with him for a little while. And, of course, we'll also hear from some of your favorite Ice Hogs players, Matthew Highmore and Matt Tompkins, chatting with the media a little bit earlier this week with all the crazy news surrounding the Ice Hogs coming back from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and entering a tonight's showdown. 1-1 after 1 here at the BMO in downtown Rockford, Illinois. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network. Cardiogram, abdominal, vascular, thyroid, and pelvic ultrasound. You'll need a doctor's referral for many of these services, but remember, it's your choice. So choose Ultrasound of Belvedere. Learn more at ultrasound-belvedere.com. Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on Sports Fan Radio 1330. Ice WNTA Rockford. Second period action underway here at BMO Harris Bank Center. The Rockford Ice Hogs and San Jose Barracuda tied up at one. Ice Hogs getting a goal to tie things up late in that first period. Power play tally from Adam Clendenning, but the Ice Hogs here to start the second. Already to work in the offensive zone. Right to left, they're skating, and here's Matthew Highmore, right wing side. Highmore at the top of the far circle, now peels back to the point. Highmore's wrist shot, this one hits off a body. He had to see the backside of his own man and Cody Franzen, and he'll end up behind the net. Ends up rolling all the way around to the near corner. San Jose pushes it up the wall. They will get it out to center ice. Now go barreling in for the offensive zone themselves. Brandon Mashinger, left wing boards. Throws it out and hits off a body. And that's Anthony Lewis. He'll kick it on over to Tyler Sakura, who will guide it out to center ice. Lewis will come up and join him. Gets tied up in front of the penalty boxes. Now gets worked loose back to the San Jose blue line. 1-1 one, one contest. First minute gone by here in the second. Ice Hogs after one period. Letting shots 10-6. They got on the board with a power play goal. Adam Clendenning at 15-38 after Sam Warning unassisted off a turnover and a breakaway. His second year at 7-49. Ice Hogs 1 for 3 on the power play. San Jose is 0 for 2. Barracuda down the left wing into the offensive zone. They'll guide it back behind Van Ed. It'll roll around up the near side. Rudolph's Balsers could not hold on to it. Now here come the Ice Hogs the other direction. Lance Boma, he had a couple of looks back in that opening period. He'll steer it behind Van Ed. Stephon Williams in goal for San Jose today. Boma looking for Christy Domenico. Had his stick pushed off of him. And ends up coming out to center ice. The puck it does. And Lance Boma trying to go back to Di Domenico. Just could not hold on to it. Ruark Chartier. He'll dump this one on down. Ends up on goal. But Glass, no real pressure. He'll just play it along to Victor Svenberg. Svenberg weaving his way to his own blue line. Now left wing side. He's got William Peltier into the zone. Peltier. Hurries this one off to the near corner. Michael Brodzinski gives him a healthy shove defensively for the Barracuda. Coming across far wing. Luke Johnson could not get there in time. It will come to center. Ice Hawks quickly tag back up, though. Here's Pelty in left wing. Drops it off to the blue line. Snuggaroo to drive, and this one gets blocked. May have hit off of Johnson, cutting to the front of the net. Snuggaroo gets it back near point. Goes across the ice for Radish Arister. That one knocked away. Brodzinski closing the gap there, and it'll ring around the boards. Comes back over to Snuggaroo. Left wing point. He'll turn and fire. Blocked again. Ice Hawks are shooting, but right now, San Jose standing in every way. William Peltier, left wing, hurries behind the net, slams on the brakes, and Peltier's going to draw a penalty. He had to move his feet to get the opportunity, hooked up again, and now Jeff Glass comes off for the extra man. Here's Snuggeru, wrist shot. This one gets blocked and gets away. Ends up coming right to the stick of Caleb Herbert. And another power play coming up here for the Ice Sox. Joseph Zakszewski with you alongside Tim Matilla and a fast start for the Ice Hawks to begin the second period. They've been moving their feet and they draw themselves another opportunity on the power play. Yeah, I mean, they look really sharp and uh, if they can keep this up, there's no question that they're going to win the hockey game. Well, there's always a question, but they look really good. <laughs> Fourth power play coming up here for the Ice Hawks. Again, they are one for three. They struck in their last man advantage. They needed only three seconds of that power play to strike. But this time, San Jose will win the draw and Clear it all the way down. Caleb Herbert in the box after hooking up William per 
Peltier back behind the net. 2.55, time of the infraction is Tyler Sakura. Along the right wing boards, goes across the ice, looking for Luke Johnson. That won't quite work out. So San Jose will send him skating again. Chris Domenico picks it up out of the ice hog zone. Domenico right wing, goes across at the blue line. He's got Cody Franzen. Franzen back over to the far side for Clendenning. Denning. He pinches down, now pulls back. Let Sakura work his magic. Tyler Sakura at the top of the far circle, out to the point, nobody there, and it'll come back out to center, and Clendenning will have to hold on tight. Chris Domenico and Tyler Sakura nursing seven game point streaks coming into tonight's matchup. A large part of their point production over that time has been on this power play. Sakura right wing onto Johnson, puts it into the zone, rings around the boards for Cody Franson. Back onto Johnson, will go to the right circle around the end boards. He's got Domenico and now onto Johnson. One timer held on to by Williams and Sakura right there on top of the crease should that puck dribble loose. So you've mentioned Sakura several times. Now this Dylan Sakura that's playing for the Blackhawks, is that his brother? Younger brother. Okay. Coming out of Northeastern, of course, so many questions surrounded and whether or not he was going to sign with Chicago or not. And he wanted his college hockey season to be done, he said, before he answered that question. He said no question was how going to go to Chicago. Just wanted to put that on the back burner while Northeastern was competing to her spot. And he frozen for, which, of course, you've been checking in on the basketball final four here this evening with Loyola and Michigan, and more updates to come soon as that game's starting to wind down. Ice Hogs, their power play winding down. 40 seconds to go in it. They'll set up shop. Here's the second unit. Tanner Carroll, left wing circle onto Henrik Samuelson. Wrist shot gets blocked, and the Barracuda will climb out to center ice. Left wing Manuel Weir will get the clear all the way to the blue line of the Ice Hog defensive zone before Carroll and company will bring it back on through. Tanner Carroll finding the back of the net against Manitoba on Wednesday. First goal for him in a little while. Of course, he missed a lot of games with injury. It was his eighth goal of the year. Anthony Lewis weaving his way back into the offensive zone. One more push here for the Ice Hogs on the power play. Just two seconds left. Lewis, though, gets hit hard along the left wing, top of the circle. Had a jump away from him. Matthew Highmore gloves it down, could not move it to the middle of the ice, and out of the box comes Caleb Herbert. But now we're going to get ourselves a whistle. It looks like this puck may have been knocked around with a hand pass. They're looking at the ice hogs. The officials will come together and chat about it out at center ice. Too many men on the ice? And that might indeed be the call. Ice Hogs were making a change here. No official motion from the referee on the penalty or anything, but now the Ice Hogs are making an argument. The linesman uh, blew the whistle, not the referee, by the way. And he was across the way on the far side. Sean Davis and Jared Ragusen wearing the orange bands tonight. Tyler Gregory and William Hancock helping them out on the lines, and it looks like it indeed will be a too many men on the ice call going against the Ice Hogs, so a tough change there. Right as their fourth power play came to a close, they dropped to one for four, and now San Jose will go on opportunity number three. And it comes still fairly early on here in the second period. 14.55 to go. So a bench minor. It'll be served by Henrik Samuelson. Face off to the left side of Jeff Glass. Ice Hogs have it. They put it hard up the boards. It's a funny bounce off the partition, but Victor Svenberg will be able to get it out to center ice anyhow, and San Jose will have to set up shop inside their own zone. Barracuda power play, 22nd in the American Hockey League coming in. Four-game power play goal scoring streak here in the month of March. They've gone 22%. Had them last in the American Hockey League and shot them up to 22nd. The Ice Hogs have done rather well comparatively. They've moved up to 27th overall, but they're on a power play goal scoring streak of their own with Clendenning's marker back in the first period it now goes to four games so equal to San Jose offside Barracuda that puck just would not agree with them along the near wing so a face off will occur directly in front of the San Jose bench you know San Jose's done a nice job of blocking shots we've had a lot of opportunities and they've gotten in the way quite a bit especially in the opening few moments of the second period how many times we say that the puck came out to the blue line ice hawks firing away but it hit off of something more often than not. And that was mostly San Jose players jumping in the way, helping out their goaltender and Stephon Williams. But Williams still has 11 shots that have come through, probably double 
of the attempts his direction as the Ice Hawks get a turnover out at center ice. Tyler Zakur is shorthanded, brings it down the left wing. Now we'll just dump it into the corner. Matthew Highmore going in after it. Highmore, one on three battle. Now in comes Sakur to help out. Highmore a little banged up, so he'll come away with it. No hindrance to his play, though, but he took a few shots. And now the Ice Hawks penalty kill will try and change things up. Reaching forward is Graham Knott. Knott knocks down De Simone, and that'll keep San Jose in their own zone for a few more moments. Good pressure here for the Ice Hawks, short-handed. And Victor Svenberg will catch an errant pass down the far wing and dump all that back down. Last minute of the power play does not go in the way San Jose would like. Ice Hawks clamping down on him. Ruark Chartier, right wing side. Sends it along for Mashinder. Mashinder to the zone. He's got Julius Bergman at the right wing point. Back to Mashinder who will handle this one at the right wing circle. Down to the goal line for Chartier. Chartier back out to the right point for Bergman. He'll walk to the deep slot. Comes across for Chartier. One timer. Knocked aside. Off of Svedberg. And into the back of the net. Svedberg got the block. It angled behind the net. Came back out in front of Jeff Glass. And just tips across the goal line. That puck pinballed around. And San Jose strikes with seven seconds left on the power play. So they take a 2-1 to one lead with 13.02 left in the second period. Taking a look at the above angle. It may have gone off of Cody Franson as he was trying to cover that far post. But just a bad bounce on the angle behind the net. And it gets to the Ice Hogs and the Barracuda take a lead. Their second of the game off the restart. They'll shovel it right wing side. Flipping it into the San Jose bench was Sam Warning, who actually opened up the game scoring back in the opening period. So we'll take a break. 12.54 to go in the middle stanza. Barracuda back in front of the Ice Sox, 2-1. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Sox Hockey on the Ice Sox Broadcast Network. I'm sorry. Hard. Who's most uh, qualified to help? They're starting to pull away There's now. only one. Anco, kitchens and baths. The kitchen is the heart of your home. At Anco, we partner on each design, ensuring accuracy and the best use of space. Anco has a cure for that worn-out heart of your home. And Paul Johnson, owner of Anco Kitchens and Baths. Paul, do you pay more for all these expert designers and the vast selection at Anco? Absolutely not. We're Rockford's factory direct kitchen source. So as a cabinet distributor, our prices are unbeatable. You can get the best design, the best selection, and the best value. That's the Anco Advantage. For budget or high-end, Anco Kitchens and Baths is definitely where you'll get the most for your money. Remember, you can drive all over Rockford and never find a better price. A-N-D-C-O Anco Kitchens and Baths. Under 13 to play in the second period. The Rockford Ice Hawks trailing the San Jose Barracuda 2-1. San Jose striking on the power play. They're going to give this goal to Adam Simic, the defenseman, as he was able to angle it around. So for Simic, he finds himself on the score sheet. Seventh of the year from Julius Bergman and Ruark Chartier. They make his first North American season, was over in the Czech Republic the last five years. San Jose breaking back into the offensive zone, left to right there, working with the puck. Certainly that goal gave him a nice jump after the Ice Hawks. Got off to a wonderful start pressure-wise in the second stands, and San Jose left side, fire and score! Caleb Herbert from the bottom of the left circle gets one to sneak through Jeff Glass. And it's now a two-goal lead for the Barracuda. Caleb Herbert, the former Washington Capitals prospect, coming up from the ECHL in Greenville, rifles in his second of the season. As Glass has that one squeak right underneath the blocker hand and the far post. Take a look at the above angle replay. Luke Snuggerud had his man pretty well boxed out in the tough one for Glass and the Ice Hogs, and it quickly becomes three to one Barracuda just seconds after Simic found daylight on the power play. Restart again in the neutral zone. Barracuda will handle this one and dump it down. But this one will end up out of play. I mean, along the near board, so a draw will come right back to center ice. I mean, two of the goals are kind of fluky when you when you think about, you know, how this happened. And we're down by 
two goals right now, but it's not like it's the way you draw it up. <laughs> Still plenty of hockey over half of the game to go. The Ice Hogs down three to one. Head to head series this year. Rockford up one to nothing all time. They are 2 1 and 0 oh against the Barracuda. San Jose through center ice. Guides this one down to the far corner of Jeff Glass. Rockford will dig this one free and work it around the boards up along the left wing and back out to center. Henrik Samuelson knocked away Bergman, so it'll go down the length of the ice. Simic, part of this little goal outburst here for the Barracuda, will take control. Left wing side. On to Brandon Mashinger. Mashinger centers it up. He had Alexander True breaking in. His one-timer goes wide. Comes out to Mashinger again. Mashinger carves around to the near corner. Now centers it up to the blue line. For David Mikowski, his one-timer gets knocked aside. Adam Clendenning will pick it up. Hurries out to center ice. He'll hit the red line and dump it down. 11 and a half to go in the second period. Ice Hogs down by two. A pair of quick ones for San Jose. They come 32 seconds apart. Simic on the power play at 6.58. And then Caleb Herbert right after that from Sam Warning. So Warning has a two-point game. He grabs San Jose's first goal back in the opening period. Ice Hogs in the offensive zone. Anthony Lewis, right wing circle. Fires, pass, mm. save by And that rebound comes out to the near corner. Williams, a big stop with that outstretched right leg, and Lance Boma trying to get another crack at it. He was right there on top of the blue paint. Out to Cody Franson. Franson at the right point. Hurries off a one-time shot, and that'll go to the catching glove of Williams, and he will hold on tight. For all your shopping needs, stop by Oink Outfitters. Located inside the BMO Harris Bank Center, Oink Outfitters is open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, and 10 to 2 on Saturday. Fans can also shop online anytime at IceHogs.com. Some great Hawaiian night themed gear up for grabs. IceHog players wearing Hawaiian themed jerseys. Those big, bright, bold hibiscus flowers all over the uniforms. Hammy Hog, the team mascot in tiki format <laughs> on the crest of the jerseys and some bright hibiscus flowers embedded into the ice this evening as well. Don't see that too often. You see maybe the whole ice being colored for a special cause or event, but not stenciled designs like the hibiscus flowers here this evening. Be sure to check out IceSox.com and all the social media channels for images of that. Would you know they were hibiscus if somebody didn't tell you? I had to look it up earlier today. Okay. <laughs> because there's no way in heck I would know. Looks like four-leaf clovers to me. <laughs> I had to uh, dig out a, a, a couple of references to make sure I was on point with that one. Ice Hogs right to left trying to get back into this one after a quick two goal outburst by San Jose. They'll dump it into the offensive zone and it takes a funny hop off a of partition. We've said that a few times here tonight, but this one goes off the back glass and cuts to the outside of the net of goaltender Stephon Williams. So he will cover up and wait patiently for a stoppage. 10 18 to play in the middle stanza. A 3-1 San Jose lead, just nine shots for San Jose. So you talk about some squirrely goals that have been able to sneak through Jeff Glass. Meanwhile, the Ice Hogs, just 13 shots for them. And San Jose have probably blocked at least 13 more. Ice Hogs will win this draw. Luke Johnson, left wing side. Gets it out to the blue line for Clen Denning. Chipped around him by John Martin. And Martin on the attack for the Barracuda. John Martin powers down to the right side. Now cuts out in front. Jeff Glass, good individual effort there. And he's going to draw the penalty here. It's going to be a holding call against the Ice Hogs. And Adam Clen Denning, he had to hold up Martin or else he would have had a clear path from out of the right wing corner to the top of the crease. So a power play once again coming up for the Barracuda. They are one for three. They just struck on the Simic. Bouncing puck, and Clendenning not happy about it, but he will get settled across the way in the box. I thought they were both holding each other. I didn't think it should have been one. So two more minutes go up on the board, favoring the Barracuda. And now both teams with four power plays to work on after this one. Draw to the right-hand side of Jeff Glass. Lance Bowman to take this face off against Roar Chartier. Chartier knocks it free. Comes out to the blue line. 
Worked around Radham Simic is out there again. Simic across for Julius Berman, right point. He'll go down to the near corner. Intercepted Manuel Weeder, though. Gets it back for the Barracuda. Isaac lift his stick, flip it out to center ice. Here's Lance Boma. Boma up the middle, trying to hurry off a shot. Gets it around two defenders. Ends up going wide, however. And bounces on down to the near corner. San Jose regrouping left to right. We'll bring it back through. Bergman down to the right side for Maschinger at the near corner. Back to Bergman. He'll go across the ice. Has his man. Rising shot. And Simic, this one up over top of glass, comes over to the near side for Sharchi again. Ruark Sharchi. Rister from the right circle on a blocker saved by glass. They'll have this one pop up and out of play. Taking a look at the out-of-town score, the Cinderella story here for Loyola unfortunately comes to a close tonight, Tim. 69-57. to 57. Loyola led 29-22 at halftime, but the number three seeded Michigan grabs 47 points in the second half to bring it close to the 11th seeded Loyola. Sister Jean <laughs> came up just a little short from going to the national championship, but how about that? What a story, Loyola and all the teams they had to go through just to get to that stage. San Jose off the faceoff to the near side of Glass. Get a couple of shots through. Deflect wide, however, and the Ice Hogs able to clear it on back to center. 48 seconds left here on the power play for the Barracuda. San Jose left wing side, burst into the zone. Alexander True rising shot. This one rolls up bottom, goes into the tall windows and actually clips the safety netting above. So that'll slow things up. 44 ticks of the clock on the power play for San Jose. Isaac penalty kill prior to that Radom Simic goal here in the second period. Did not give up a power play tally in their last two, but taking a step back, they have given up 14 over their last 16. That's probably been the one thorn in the side of the Rockford Ice Sox. Tim has been their play on the penalty kill. Power play has been great, five on five, four on four has been great, just down a man. Haven't been able to fully seal things off. Ooh. San Jose left side, dump the puck in the zone, but Adam Holuka wipes out one of the linesmen who falls down backwards and almost bopped in his head on the ice. That was William Hancock manning the blue line, the ice on defensive blue. And he got his feet swiped out from underneath them. And now San Jose, they run into their own man at the blue line. And coming up a little slow as Rudolph's balsers and the Ice Hogs return to full strength. So a little walkie, John, how that power play came to a close. But now San Jose is one for four. Both teams one for four. And Luke Snuggerud goes barreling into the goal of Jeff Glass, his own netminder. And it looks like he was... Losing an edge and took a hard tumble on down. So that will give us a timeout. So a little off center for both clubs, but it's the San Jose Barracuda that lead three to one. 7.48 to go in the middle stanza. We'll take a break for a minute. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network. Hi, this is Mike Barr with Crimson Point Senior Living. If it's time to consider assisted living for a family member or friend, please know that we're committed to providing as his family, friends, and community. Hello, I'm Bill Henning. I live here at Crimson Point. My daughter's a physical therapist, and uh, she began searching for a place for me, and uh, this place was highly recommended, and she and her husband came over to check it out, and they, were, they said, you're going to like it, Dad. It's nice. It's what you'd expect. It's a, it's a place that uh, is friendly, uh, very helpful because everybody's new when they first come here, and that's, that's awkward as heck. I mean, you have changes in your life when you come here, and uh, but everybody understands that, and everybody's very helpful, so I'm, I'm well taken care of. Crimson Point Senior Living of Perryville by Crimson Ridge. To learn more about our community, stop in and take a tour, or visit us on the web at lifeofcrimsonpoint.com. Under eight minutes to play in the second period. The Rockford Ice Hogs trailing the San Jose Barracuda. Three to one. Both teams taking multiple trips to the penalty box here in recent history, but back to five on five. Offensive zone draw for San Jose. Down in the zone to our right, right hand of Jeff Glass. Barracuda had it for a moment. They'll ring it around the board zone on a dump, and Luke Snuggerud will bring it back on through. Snuggerud right to left for the Ice Hogs. On to Tanner Carroll. He will dump it down. 
San Jose waiting for it. They'll just go right back out to center ice. Tell you what, Sam Warning, he has shown some tremendous speed. He'll go racing on down. Could not beat out the Ice Hogs, though. Snugger who makes the play, and he will get it back out to center. But here comes Warning again. Warning right side into the zone. It's offside San Jose. Warning took a stutter step, and that drew the whistle. So 7.07 to go in the second period, and that will halt play. Warning showed off that speed in the opening period. At the time, making one nothing Barracuda before Adam Clendenning. At 15.38 of the first, a power play goal, his fifth of the year, made it 1-1. But here in the second period, goals 32 seconds apart by the Barracuda and Simic and Herbert. Have them distanced slightly on the ice odds. Rockford trying to keep their winning ways moving forward. Especially with so many teams around them in action tonight. Ice Sox in fourth place of the Central. Magic number of 12 to clinch a playoff berth. They can do so with the win or if they get some help elsewhere. Meanwhile, San Jose in a tightly contested Pacific division trying to keep what postseason hopes they still have moving forward. Matthew Highmore out to center ice for the Ice Sox. Right wing side has his man in Samuelson. He was fighting the puck a little bit, was jammed up in skates. Will now come down to the far wall and They'll just dump it in back behind the net of goaltender Stefan Williams. The late call, Jeff Glass is going to come out. So more penalty time coming up. It's going to go to the Barracuda. Ice Ox, the blue line. They have an extra man out there now. Six on five. Di Domenico, left wing point for Carl Dahlstrom. Back to Di Domenico at the left wing circle. On to Dahlstrom. Reverse it on to Di Domenico, mm. but he actually clears it himself. And it'll come out to center. So Di Domenico will have to pick it up at his own blue line. Di Domenico, right wing. Well, now just dump it on down and... Michael Brodzinski will get the touch, and that will give us the penalty call. Holding the stick, the infraction against San Jose. A big power play here, Tim, for the Ice Hogs here late in the second period and a chance to make it a one-goal contest. Yeah, this could change the momentum of the game a little bit if we can get this power play goal here going into the third period, only down one. Heading across the way, Manuel Wienerer. As the power play will get set up for the Ice Hogs. We'll bring you that man advantage when we come back. 5.59 to go in the second. Ice Hogs trail 3-1. to one. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network. I'm so. It's the house. Who's most qualified to help? There's only one. Namco, kitchens and baths. The kitchen is the heart of your home. At Anco, we partner on each design, ensuring accuracy and the best use of space. Anco has a cure for that one out part of your home. And Paul Johnson, owner of Anco Kitchens and Baths. Paul, do you pay more for all these expert designers and the vast selection at Anco? Absolutely not. We're Rockford's factory direct kitchen source. So as a cabinet distributor, our prices are unbeatable. You can get the best design, the best selection, and the best value. That's the Anco advantage. For budget or high end, Anco Kitchens and Baths is definitely where you'll get the most for your money. Remember, you can buy all the products and never find a better price. Ice Hogs going on the power play for the fifth time. Down three to one to the San Jose Barracuda. Joseph Zakszewski with you alongside Tim Matilla. Starting to wind down this second period. A chance for the Ice Hogs to get back into this one. They do have a power play goal already. They are one for four. Face off in the offensive zone. Right side of goaltender Stefan Williams. Puck jammed to the near corner. It goes off a of body and then out of play. Now the debate begins of who did it go off of. And that'll determine the location of the faceoff. And it's going to stay in the offensive zone for the Ice Hogs. San Jose was arguing quite heavy that this one did not go off of them. But it will not be heard. And now another draw to the right side of Williams, the netminder. 27 seeds for him, his last outing. March 25th against Tucson. And a 3-2 victory there. His first win, in fact, only decision of the year came on in relief twice also against tucson and also against ontario as antoine bebo his backup tonight was pegged for a few goals and pulled by their head coach roy sommer 
Well, the Ice Hogs working it into the offensive zone after a quick clear by the Barracuda. Cody Franz in left wing point. Drops it off to Adam Clendenning across the ice. Mm -hmm. Domenico. Di Domenico, wrist or block. Comes back to him, though. To Clendenning. Finds a shot. Blocker saved by Williams. And good rebound control. Puts it right to the near corner. Cody Franson picks it up, though. Tried to center it, intercepted, and here comes Chartier shorthanded for the Barracuda. Chartier cuts out in front, hands this one on. He's got his man in Balsers, and Balsers draws a penalty. Good shorthanded push between Chartier and Balsers. And this is going to be a slashing call against the Ice Hogs, and Adam Clendenning is going to go right back to the penalty box. Clendenning. Entered the game with 36 minor penalties, which was tied for first among defensemen. And that is going to be his second minor of the game. So has him up there in the top spot by himself. Draw will be to the left side of Jeff Glass, and we'll skate four on four for the second time here tonight. San Jose, right wing circle, had it for a moment. Rolled away, though, from Sam Warning off the near wall, and Matthew Heimler will pick it up. So the Ice Sox power play now drops to one for five. They have the puck, though, in the neutral zone. Anthony Lewis chips it to himself at the right circle, but Noah Rod snuck from behind and lifted his stick. Got it out from underneath him, and Nick Simone. Will catch his pass. DeSimo for the Barracuda at his own blue line. Now drops it off to Sam Warning. Warning left wing. Goes right around Luke Snuggerud and into the offensive zone. Warning goes full circle. Comes up right wing side. Drops it off for DeSimone. Fires. Pad save. Glass. Rebound goes up the middle. But could not be swatted through. That was Noah Rod trying to chip this one back in. Had a good talent and a good look at it too. But the Ice Sox stood in the way. Luke Snuggerud right wing side, has his man in Matthew Highmore. Highmore into the zone, throws it back to Snuggerud across for Cody Franson. Franson, wrists are on its way, blocked in front of Williams. And San Jose will get it back out to center. Ice Hogs need to find those seams, get those shots through. Here's Tanner Carroll, left wing. He'll find his way into the offensive zone once again. Goes behind the net for William Peltier. Peltier to the blue line. He's got Cody Franson. Rister on the way. That gets blocked. Bouncing puck between the circles. And the Barracuda come away with it. They'll chip it out to center. Manuel Wienerer makes his way up the middle. Now swings to the left wing side. Wienerer to the top of that left wing dot for Holuka. Holuka goes across to Simone. Fires at the right dot. And fought off by the leg pads of Jeff Glass. 16 seconds left on what has now become... A power play for San Jose, their fifth man advantage. Barracuda have this one winding down. It's an abbreviated power play. Wieterer along the near boards falls down. A couple men are down on the ice. And that one is pretty well jammed up against the boards. Now it'll come free. Ice Hogs have it. They'll send a man launched down the right wing side. Here's Glenn Denning lost his footing or else he would have been off to the races. San Jose with numbers the other direction. Here's Balsers, Balsers sliding across Darren Radish. Rudolph Balsers was lining up his shot from the right circle, and Radish feet first. Awkward slide, but makes the play anyhow. 3-1, to one, San Jose on top of the Ice Sox. 2.41 to go in the second period. San Jose left to right in transition. They go offside, and that'll give the Hogs a chance to catch their breath a little bit. Mesop will come out to center. Last time these two teams got together prior to tonight, January 15, 2016. So two seasons ago, Tim, a little more than two years ago, in this building, a 5-2 victory for San Jose. Mark McNeil, who is now with the Milwaukee Admirals this year, but back then he was on the Ice Hogs, and he had two goals in that one. Emil Pedersen, he had one of the goals for San Jose. He is also on Milwaukee this year. Wrist shot blockered away by Jeff Glass off the face off. They'll punch it up into the protective netting. And that will give us another stop draw will be to his right hand side. Solid crowd tonight. Packed house on hand to catch up with Brian Bickle, the Stanley Cup champion and former Ice Hog and Chicago Blackhawk. Ice Hogs will win the draw. They're gonna send it down the length of the ice, a home run pass. But the puck was knocked out of the air with a high stick. And that's going to draw the whistle. 
Chris Domenico arguing that he knocked this one down right at the shoulder line, but the officials are saying no. Tell you what, Tim, San Jose is doing an excellent job of jamming up all the passing lanes on the seam. Not a lot of shots have been going through. In fact, just taking a look at the second period alone, the Ice Hogs with four shots on goal here in the second. They probably had twice as many attempts, but their goaltender, San Jose, is and Stephon Williams not having to do a whole lot of work. San Jose will control the draw. They bring the face off to center after that long distance pass that almost worked out for the Hogs. Under two minutes to play. Here in the second, Rockford on the breakout. Right to left, they're looking. Di Domenico's going to try this again. Chris Di Domenico, right way, just over the line. Now throws it across, warbles its way over to Luke Johnson. Johnson steers it behind the net. He's got Lance Boma. Boma at the goal line, out to the blue line. Mm -hmm. Has to explode off this stick. That went right off of Adam Clendenning, and now a two-on-one. Haluka launches the pass across the ice. Had a man bouncing in, and Manuel Weider just could not control it. That pass skipped right over him, and now the Ice Hogs are going to try and beat out a loose puck left wing side. Di Domenico loses an edge, trying to sell a tripping call. Gets the play anyhow. Out to the blue line, hammering it is Dahlstrom, and no Williams coming up with a scrambling save. That one finally snuck on goal. San Jose will clear it out to center. Chris Di Domenico burst through and then found a target in Carl Dahlstrom. Now up the middle, here's Highmore, drops it off for Clendenning. Wrist shot up over top of the net. Williams loses his stick, trying to find it in traffic. Puck comes free. Less than a minute to go in the second period. Svenberg at the left circle to the near point. Has his man in Tyler Sakura. Rings it around the boards, goes all the way up the far side. Samuelson kept it alive for a brief moment, looking for Sakura. Jumps away from him. He took a big hit in open ice. And out to neutral, it'll go again. Victor Spenberg leads it along. On to Matthew Highmore. Highmore goes behind the net. Highmore loses his footing, falls down, and tried to center it up in one swift motion. That didn't quite pan out. And the Barracuda will catch a break. 25 seconds left in the period. San Jose, they'll just dump this one to the near corner of Glass. Victor Spenberg trying to clear it. He turns it right over, right on to McCauley. McCauley working to the middle of the ice. Wrist shot this one, fought off by Jeff Glass with the pads. Almost a gimme for the San Jose Barracudas. Colby McCauley knocked it out of midair. Three seconds to go here in the second period. San Jose will just pull this one back inside their own end and let the horn sound to wrap things up. Tell you what, that period was a battle to get through either way you spin it. And San Jose off a Quick burst of goals. Two in 32 seconds have themselves a 3-1 lead. Yeah, and that's the difference. Way too many penalties called up by both, you know, both teams. I think there was too many penalties that kind of took the flow away from the game a little bit. When, he, when these teams are going up and down, it's pretty good. Barracuda with three power plays in that second period. Ice Hogs had two. Barracuda able to strike on one of theirs. Ice Hogs, they have also, but that's been their lone tally. That came late in the first period. Well, coming up. Check out Marco's paper McChesney, 10201 North 2nd Street. Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on Sports Fan Radio 1330. WNTA Rockford. Third period action underway downtown Rockford, Illinois. BMO Harris Bank Center where the Rockford Ice Hogs currently trail the San Jose Barracuda 3 1, but the Ice Hogs on the attack. Glendening chips out in front, they score! First minute of the third period, Lance Boma deflects in the marker, and the Ice Hogs pull within one. A monstrous goal to start the frame, and the momentum has been swiped away from San Jose and now reside on the Ice Hog bench. Fantastic start, just seconds into the final period. Well, if you notice, Clendenning did not take a full whack at that puck. It was more like a shot pass trying to get that tip. It was really good under control. 
So Lance Boma off of Adam Clendenning will deflect in his fifth goal of the season. And Boma has been a hot hand. Now four goals and two assists over his last five games in the Ice Hogs. That was going to be my major key coming out, Tim. If they can get some scoring opportunities here early in the third and potentially pull within one, the period is theirs for the taking. Well, they've done that. They strike in the opening minute. And now we're back to work in the offensive zone off the restart. It's a 3-2 contest. Adam Clendenning now a goal and an assist here tonight. Setting up Lance Boma. Ice Hogs in the offensive zone. Left wing side. Stick handling around is William Peltier. They'll go across for Darren Radish. Radish had to jump off of him, but now goes back behind the net for Peltier. He will bring it off that far post of goaltender Stephon Williams. Williams makes the save. Puck comes out to the blue line. Ice Hogs with it. Here's Peltier on the backhand. He was pretty well guarded by Ruark Chartier, but San Jose turns the puck right back over. Peltier with it. William Peltier down the left wing side. Could not hold on to this one. And the Barracuda will finally catch a break and get it out to center ice. Here's Ludolph's Balsers. Balsers up the middle, one on three. He'll just peel back. Barracuda trying to make a line change here. Ice Sox going left to right here in the third. They break in with some speed. Henrik Samuelson right side. Drops it off to Radish at the right wing point. Angles it behind the net for Matthew Highmore. Highmore brings it around to the left wing circle. Pinching in from the point. It's going to be Snuggerud. Those two trade places. Ice Sox bank it out in front. They score! Henrik Samuelson off the near post. And we are tied at three early in the third. Well, you need to interview John Weideman more often between periods because that, uh, that must have been special for you, by the way, but this is exciting. Henrik Samuelson on a great zone time possession for the Rockford Ice Song. The puck was bouncing. San Jose had plenty of chances to get clears, but the Hogs keep it alive, and Samuelson just sneaks it between the legs of Williams off the near post. And it trickles across. What a tally for Henrik Samuelson to complete an outstanding setup for the Hogs. Samuelson's eighth of the year, and we are locked up at three. With that, the Ice Hogs. Every second shift, they're getting a scoring chance. Now they're back to work in the zone. Here they go. Lance Boma up the middle. Goes behind the net. Now out to the blue line for Cody Franson. Franson shot blocked. Turned around by the Barracuda. They'll send it down. Icing washed out, however. Adam Haluka down in the far corner with John Martin. Martin swings it around to the left wing side. Handled by Manuel Weider. Weider will fire. It'll go straight to the catching glove of Jeff Glass. He will hold on tight to bring us a whistle. If you're just joining us for the third, my goodness, what a bang. 41 seconds in, Lance Boma grabs his fifth of the year from Adam Clendenning and Chris DiDomenico. So DiDomenico's point streak extends to eight games for him. And then at 2-11, pretty much right after that tally, Henrik Samuelson from Luke Snuggerud and Matthew Highmore to make it a 3-3 game. So the Ice Hogs see those two goals in the second period scored quickly by San Jose, and they raise them to a new level with two quick ones to begin the third. Ice Hogs will handle this one to the right side of their goaltender in Jeff Glass. Glass 12 saves on 15 shots entering this third period. Stefan Williams, 15 of 18 now, and he has been busy here to start. Rockford still sitting inside their own zone. Right wingers Carl Dahlstrom. He'll float it across the ice out to center for Robin Norell. No countryman out of Sweden, but Norell could not hold this one down, and it'll be an icing call against the Ice Hogs. What a difference two goals make. You can feel the stands right now. It's amazing. Buzzing big time, chanting along with all their favorite songs and traditions after an Ice Hogs goal. Alive and well here on Hawaiian night. Benefiting the Brian and Amanda Bickle Foundation and the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. The jerseys that the players are wearing on the ice tonight will be auctioned off afterward also to benefit those two wonderful foundations. And the Ice Hogs looking to put a win behind them, which will certainly increase their value and the value of the Ice Hogs moving in on a four-game road trip coming up after tonight. Rockford out of their own zone will slide it all the way down. Another easy icing call going against them. And that will bring another stoppage. We'll use this stoppage to bring you up to speed on the AHL out-of-town scoreboard. 
Keeping an eye on that Milwaukee Admirals game. Still early in the second period, but Grand Rapids, a three-goal second, have themselves a 4-2 to two lead. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And, of course, if Milwaukee falls, that's two points lost by the fifth-place Admirals. And if the Ice Hawks can get the win here, or any points for that matter, that'll also chip away at their magic number. So the Ice Hawks could see it go down from 12 to 8 tonight if they play their cards right. Ice Hawks up the left wing, coming offside. A close call there. Tanner Carroll arguing that call. Boy, the line's been right behind him to make it, and that'll bring another stoppage. 16-16 to go in the third. A 3-3 game, Ice Hawks out shooting the Barracuda 19 to 18. Goals from Lance Boma and Henrik Samuelson here to start. Face off just outside the San Jose zone. Barracuda will handle it, they'll go up the middle of the ice. Quickly dumped in off the stick of Sam Warning. Warning with one of the three goals for the Barracuda this evening. Struck back in the first period, has tremendous speed. Ice Hawks trying to adjust to it. Darren Radish takes the angle, able to body him off the puck and turn it around for Rockford. Left wing side for William Peltier. Peltier on to Snugger, a chip, they score! That goes off a of Barracuda defenseman, and the Ice Hawks out in front for the first time tonight. Luke Snugger just wound up and fired from the left point. And it looks like it went off a body. That might have been Radom Simic that got a skate on it and deflects it into his own goal. Shots are getting through for the Ice Hawks finally. And indeed, that went right off of Simic's blade who turned the instep right to his own net and pinballs on through. Luke Snuggerud with the goal, his fifth of the year. Yeah. And the Ice Hawks, three goals in the first four minutes of this third period in San Jose and their head coach, Roy Sommer. He's gonna call a timeout. He's gotta rally the troops here quickly. Yeah, he's gotta stop the bleeding. But I mean, the goaltender, no way he could have made that save. But that, that bounced stop his own player. And it was like a direct kick in, but since it was the San Jose player, it's not a kick in. It's just a nice little bank shot. <laughs> Lance Boma, Henrik Samuelson, and now Luke Snuggerud lighting the lamp for the Ice Hogs and a quick turnaround here at the BMO. Roy Sommer, the AHL's all-time winningest coach. He passed the previous mark two seasons ago, so everything here just adds to a phenomenal career for him. It's his 20th year behind the bench of the San Jose wow. organization's affiliate. Picked up that 700th AHL win back in December. So he continues to pile things up. A wise man behind that bench for the Barracuda. And just pulling everybody into. Tell him to take a deep breath. Well, here come the Ice Hawks. Highmore scores and scores! Highmore, glove side on Williams. And the onslaught continues. Five to three Ice Hogs with 15 and a half to go. Beautiful shot by Highmore for sure. And I would be thinking right now of possibly pulling Williams just to save him right now because you don't want him beating himself up. I mean, it, what's he gonna do? Antoine Bebo, his backup this evening. He played last night in Grand Rapids. Shootout loss, so it was a long game, a long bus ride here tonight. Okay. Well, that's part of it. So we'll see, but maybe just Williams might have to ride this one out. Wow, four goals in the opening four minutes of the third period for the Rockford Ice Hogs. Luke Snuggerud, the first one. Matthew Highmore just lit the lamp in San Jose right side. They get it into the offensive zone for the first time. Here's Bergman. Bergman at the right circle goes across the ice. One-timer blocked down, and Cody Franson gets the clear. Franson right wing side on to Di Domenico. It gets away from him, slides down, and that'll be an icing call. Nice block by Rockford Ice Hogs. Quick passing play to the left wing circle. San Jose had an open net to shoot out with glass sliding around. Taking a look at the goals. Boma 41 seconds in, then Samuelson at 2-11. Luke Snuggerud put him ahead. His fifth of the year. 
And then you have 11 seconds later, Matthew Highmore coming off the timeout for San Jose. That lights the lamp. Highmore's 22nd of the season. And that was a dandy of a shot, too, from the right circle. Faceoff will be to the right side of Hogs netminder Jeff Glass. San Jose will have it for a moment. Rockford, though, will escape right wing side. Here's Lance Boma. Boma fires oh. off the pads of Phillips. He gave up a big rebound, but Boma was the only one in the offensive zone. Public address announcer Chris Toltzman. He's going to be reading some names for a little while. <laughs> San Jose bringing it back into the zone. Rising shot block. That one high coming from Mikowski at the left wing point. Rockford swings it up the left wing and a bouncer. Comes on to Emerson Clark. Clark for San Jose. Right side, he's got Chartier. Chartier to the blue line. He's got his man in Michael Brodzinski. Wrist shot deflects over top of the net. Comes over to the near side. Clark finishes his check on Highmore. Keeps the puck alive to Mikowski at the point. Rister from the near side. And Glass able to watch this one all the way through. Six minutes gone in the third period. And you have a game's worth of goals that have made their way in the back of the net in that time. San Jose right side. Wrist shot from the point. Michael Brodzinski. Well, hold on tight and put it right into the uh, catching glove of Jeff Glass, and that'll give us our first timeout of the period. 13.57 remaining in the third. The Ice Hogs down 3-1. to one, Come swinging back in a big way. A 5-3 lead for them now. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network. I'm sorry. Who's most qualified to help? There's only one. Anco, kitchens and baths. The kitchen is the heart of your home. At Anco, we partner on each design, ensuring accuracy and the best use of space. Anco has a cure for that worn out heart of your home. And Paul Johnson, owner of Anco Kitchens and Baths. Paul, do you pay more for all these expert designers and the vast selection at Anco? Absolutely not. We're Rockford's factory direct kitchen source. So as a cabinet distributor, our prices are unbeatable. You can get the best design, the best selection, and the best value. That's the Anco Advantage. For budget or high-end, Anco Kitchens and Baths is definitely where you'll get the most for your money. Remember, you can drive all over Rockford and never find a better price. A-N-T-C-O Anco Kitchens and Baths. 13.57 to go in the third period. The Rockford Ice Hogs. Four goals in this frame already. Lead 5-3 to three. on the San Jose Barracuda. Second and final meeting between these two clubs. Ice Hogs are going to go perfect 2-0, and oh, but they would love to chip away at their magic number. Entering tonight, 12 points in the Central Division standings. We're heading out on the road for the next four games. They'll be in San Antonio next week, Wednesday, then Friday and Saturday against the Texas Stars. And then next week, Tuesday, against the Iowa Wild before returning home on Lucky Friday, the 13th of April. Tim Matilla <laughs> to take on the uh, Chicago Wolves in the final regular season home game. That's fan appreciation night. First 2,500 fans grabbing Rockford Ice Hogs team photo thanks to American Solutions for Business. And you can grab those tickets over at icehogs.com right now. It has become a fun push the postseason these last four weeks for the Rockford Ice Hogs. It has been playoff hockey for them. They were on the outside looking in for so long after at one point, the first half of the year, they were well within playoff positioning. But a rocky holiday season had them fall out to the fifth place spot, even the sixth place, the lowest they were all year. But they have climbed back in, and boy, have they climb back in with a little jump in their step. 13.32 to go in the third. Ice Hogs left wing. They'll throw it into the offensive zone. San Jose back to grab it. They'll move it through center ice. Right to left they have it. They lose it at the red line. Pressuring now Robin Norell. Norell on to Madison Acapelli. Acapelli on to Graham Not Not lost control. San Jose gets it right back. Moving to the middle, Haluka rising wrist shot. This one over top of the glove hand of Jeff Glass. Barracuda get it back, though. Right wing point, here's Michael Brodzinski. Brodzinski fires, goes off a body and deflects up and out of play. That puck may have 
Took a bop off of a fan, but it looks like everyone's okay. That one had a little zip on it. Less than 13 to play in the third period. Tell you what, Tim, Jeremy Collins, uh, a big quotes guy, likes to draw quotes from famous figures throughout history, and I love that too. I always feed off of them a little bit. Today's quote, he posted in the locker room, if you're on the right track, you'll get run over, even if you're just sitting there. <laughs> That's good. You'll still get run over if you're just sitting there. So the Ice Hogs, they're on the right track, but they know they have to keep going forward. And that was a strong message. I would have loved to be in the locker room during that second intermission chat to have the output that we've had so far here in the third. Ice Hogs back in the offensive zone. Luke Johnson, left wing side, will ring it around the boards. Comes all the way up to the right wing for Tanner Caro. Caro on to Carl Dahlstrom. Dahlstrom will walk in from the right wing point, bring it down to the goal line. Looking for Johnson again. Puck was played underneath his stick, and San Jose will get it back out. McCauley down the left wing, slides by both benches. He'll dump it back through, and both teams will change things up. Dozen minutes to go here in the third period. Ice Hogs up by two. Left wing, they come in with speed. Here's Lance Boma, left side. Timely stick check from Michael Brodzinski. Puck goes behind the Barracuda net. Christy Domenico trying to catch up to it on the other side. Good play by Roar Chartier. Chartier right wing, lead pass for Emerson Clark. Could not haul it in, and that will be an icing call against the Barracuda. They were moving with some speed the other direction. But now everything will come back towards their goaltender and Stefan Williams. Williams coming up from the ECHL, the Allen Americans. And the Bridgeport Sound Tigers, New York Islanders organization the last two years. Product of Minnesota State Mankato and receiving just his second start of the year in the American Hockey League this season. And Isaac's not exactly making him feel all too comfortable he had a pretty easy going second period but then in the third the Hogs turned it up another notch Rockford pulling it back inside their own zone here's Luke Snuggerud he has one of the handful of goals on to Chris Domenico through center ice Di Domenico into the offensive zone goes across for Darren Radish Radish right wing side makes his way all the way down to the near corner now turns it back to the top of the circle he's got Anthony Lewis there waiting for him Lewis, right wing, steps around one attacker, now gets around another. Anthony Lewis, stick handling to the right wing corner, looking for options. Lewis cuts the middle of the ice, drops it off. He's got Chris Domenico. Di Domenico, right wing circle, looking for Lewis, back door, one timer! Phillips the save, got across just in time. Anthony Lewis and Chris Domenico coming up with a big play. Now San Jose on the turnaround, get taken down, and we're going to get ourselves a penalty. Ruar Chartier sprawled out in the middle of the ice and a cross-checking call being signaled. So the Barracuda will get ready for a power play halfway through the third. What a beautiful one-timer, though. <laughs> and just the patience to buy time, held on to it, walked down the wall, right wing corner for Anthony Lewis, brought it back out to the top of the circle. Left it for Di Domenico, but a good heads up play for Lewis to know that he had options to break around the backside. Trying to sneak behind the defense there. But now Darren Radish is going to take a seat for a cross check. And this will be power play number six for the San Jose Barracuda. They are one for five tonight. Three man advantages in the second period. They'll win the draw. Here's Simic left point. Goes across, has his target. Rising drive coming off the stick at Simone. And it whistles wide of the net of Jeff Glass. Carries up the near wall and back out to center. Barracuda on it, though. They'll dump it right back down. Victor Svedberg picks it up in the near corner. He'll put it high off the glass. And that actually hits off a Simak and lays out in the neutral zone. So Simak got in the way of it. Prevented the full clear by the Ice Hogs. But now San Jose runs into another problem. They broke the puck in offside. So that will give us a stoppage. 10.23 left in the third. 1.31 remaining on the penalty kill here for Rockford. So everybody here gets a free scoop of custard because we've scored five goals. I will lead that, I will lead that charge <laughs> to the nearest Culver's. San Jose bringing it back into the offensive zone after that brief gap on their power play. They'll chip it to the top of the crease of Jeff Glass. Rolling puck gets away. From Rudolph's ball serves to the left wing point though. He'll re-corral under Adam Simic. Simic goes across the ice. 
On to Nick DeSimone. DeSimone, middle of the ice now for Balsers. Mishandled, but back to DeSimone. Over to the left circle for Simic. Simic across the ice. Snapshot coming, and this one blocked down. Quick wrist shot from Adam Haluka. Could not get it through. Out to Balsers, middle of the ice. Between the circles, right wing point for DeSimone. Left wing point. Has his man in Simic. DeSimone comes over. Simic will find him. Deep slot. Wrist shot. Knocked out of midair by Tanner Caro. Caro on to Boma for the Ice Hawks. And they will clear away. 38 seconds left on the penalty kill. I mean, twice we shot blocked. Puck didn't even get to the goaltender. Simic back inside the San Jose zone. Sitting there with DeSimone. Let's go Ice Hogs. The chant from the fans. Packed house here at the BMO Harris Bank Center in downtown Rockford. Ice Hogs left wing side. Have it tied up in the neutral zone, but skating right through it is Brandon Mashinter. Mashinter centers it out in front for Chartier. Sent it over top of the net. Point blank look there for Chartier, but lifted a little too high. Trying to ramp it off of his stick and over top of glass. And the Hogs will get it on the backside and clear it on out. Out on the box comes Darren Radish. A successful penalty kill for the Ice Hogs. Right wing side though, breaking in with speed is Caleb Herbert. Herbert is one of the tallies for San Jose this evening. That came back in the second period. Barracuda banked this one off the near post of glass. Rolls into the crease. Got a pad on it. And now moving out to center ice will be Luke Snuggeru. Snuggeru takes a hit, loses his stick, but kicks it ahead for William Peltier. Peltier into the offensive zone for the Ice Hogs. Brings in Michael Brodzinski, left wing side for Matson Acapelli. Acapelli to the blue line. Has his target in Clendenning. Nifty spinorama on to Acapelli. Rister from a distance and held on to by Stefan Williams. And he will eat up time and grab a whistle. 8.13 to go in the third. The Ice Hogs leading. The San Jose Barracuda, 5-3. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network. Hi, this is Mike Barber. If you're under- assisted living for a family member or friend, please <laughs> know that we're committed to providing a lifestyle for our residents that emphasizes family, friends, and community. Hi, my name's Rita, and my mother's a resident at Crimson Point. I can tell that she's happy living here. She well, likes being active. <laughs> Crimson Point has active programs. They take people out on different trips. They take them shopping. There's things during the day for them to do and it's all on a predetermined schedule so everybody knows when it's going on and where it's happening at. We did look at other facilities and Crimson Point seemed to have the best programming, meal plan, and and everything else that she needed to support her needs. They have a variety of activities to meet educational needs, social needs, any type of religious affiliation you might have, psychological and physical. So my mother that meets everything that she wants. Crimson Point Senior Living of Perryville by Crimson Ridge. To learn more about our community, stop in and take a tour or visit us on the web at life at crimsonpoint.com. 8.13 to go in the third period. The Rockford Ice Hogs in front of the San Jose Barracuda, 5-3. to three. Out shooting them 24-20. to 20. Four of the five goals came in the opening. Four and a half minutes of this third period. Hogs in the offensive zone. Face off to the right side of the San Jose netminer and Stefan Williams. Rockford will control. Lance Boma behind the net comes up near corner. Out to the blue line for Adam Clendenning. Clendenning wrist shot. Penalty is coming up as Boma was wiped out on his march to the front of the net. Still got a swing on the puck. But Williams comes up with the save. And this might be a call. A cross check will be going against Caleb Herbert. Herbert's second trip to the box this evening, and the Ice Hogs will go on their sixth power play of the game. One for five tonight. Adam Clendenning, the power play goal back in the opening period. At the time, it made it one to one before San Jose grabbed two quick ones in the second for a 3-1 advantage after two periods. But then the Hogs firing away to start the third and look to make it some more four goals goals so far for them in the frame Glendening out there with Sakura D Domenico moving along with Luke Johnson and Cody Franson Hogs right wing side get bodied into the board Sakura gets wiped out right inside the blue line and that'll bring a gathering as Rockford not too thrilled at the aggression from San Jose, trying to thwart their power play break-in. So that'll slow things up. 
Minute and 40 seconds still left on the opportunity. Draw will be directly from the San Jose bench. Chartier will go in against Luke Johnson. Johnson tonight picked up the assist, the only assist on the Clendenning power play goal back in the first. Lean face off win, and then Clendenning just blasted it in from the right wing point. Tyler Sakura works this one into the zone onto Chris DiDomenico. DiDomenico tried to backhand it up the near wall, didn't get it through. Reverses it down low near corner for Luke Johnson. Johnson goes behind the net. Simic, good heads up play. Ducks around to check, picks up the puck, and Chartier shorthanded. We'll move along for the Barracuda. Ruark Chartier, wrister fought off by Glass. And a whistle comes quickly. Glass was ready to play this one along. And a little bum that the official blew the play dead, but he put his glove over top of the puck before making any sort of indication that he was going to take off and let it go so a defensive zone face off here for the hogs still a minute and nine seconds left on the power play well we mentioned rockford after tonight a four game road trip for them for san jose this completes a two game midwest road trip they were in grand rapids fell in the shootout last night then they'll go home they'll take on san diego on the fourth of april and then at stockton a little home and home with stockton home and home with bakersfield before returning for the final game of the year to Stockton on the 14th. The Civic Division teams, they play 68 games. Other than the two Texas clubs and everyone in the Central, 76. So their schedule a little bit more spread out. But all the more impactful. Thus, the whole standings being broken down by a winning percentage versus points overall. Just to make up for different sets of games. Matthew Highmore. Here late on the power play. Right wing circle, race shot in and out of the glove of Williams. Barracuda fight it out to center ice, but the Hogs will have possession. Carl Dahlstrom up the middle for Matthew Highmore. He's got some speed into the zone. Right wing side for Henrik Samuelson, top of the circle. Samuelson looking, looking. Right wing point for Dahlstrom, drops it off. Carl Dahlstrom fakes the shot, goes across. Has Acapelli Rister blocked down in front of Williams, bounces away, and the Barracuda will come away with it. Turning out to center is Sam Warning. Warning left wing side. Brings it to the ice hog blue line. Now curls back. Barracuda returned to full strength. Ice hogs dropped to one for six on the power play. San Jose in the break on. Back into the zone or offside. And that will give us an official's timeout. 5.55 to go in the third. Rockford up five to three. Looking to seal this one off. We'll take our final promo timeout. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs hockey on the Ice Hogs broadcast network. There are a lot of mistakes. For example, people used to think you had to go to the hospital for diagnostic medical imaging, but people know about Ultrasound of Belvedere, an approved Medicare facility offering complete diagnostic exams, including x-ray, echocardiogram, abdominal, vascular, thyroid, and pelvic ultrasound. You'll need a doctor's referral for many of these services, but remember, it's your choice. So choose Ultrasound of Belvedere. Learn more at ultrasound-belvedere.com. Think you can't afford life insurance? Think again. You might be surprised at how affordable it can be. 80% of Americans overestimate the cost of life insurance. Maybe it's time to swap a few small expenses for some big peace of mind. Life insurance can protect what matters most, and it's the right thing to do. Let's talk today. American Family Insurance. Visit the John Iacino Agency today at 5411 East State Street in Rockford, or call us at 815-226-2424. American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Under six minutes to play in the third period of action. The Rockford Ice Hogs up 5-3 to three on the visiting San Jose Barracuda. A one-game homestand, if you can even call it that, for the Ice Hogs. They're on the road for the last two. They are back home tonight, and then we'll go on the road for the next four. So a road-like mentality. Most likely the approach for the Hogs is playing simple hockey. What worked well in Manitoba? Replicate that here tonight. And then rinse and repeat going into the... Upcoming swing through Texas and Iowa. Shots 27-21 in favor of the Hogs. Rockford pressuring San Jose back inside their own zone. Now Chartier for the Barracuda right wing for Emerson Clark. He will dump it on down. Rings around the boards, comes up near wing for William Peltier. Gets it back to center, but 
San Jose right now in full desperation mode to get back into this one. At one point, they led 3-1. to one. But then the Ice Hogs, a four-goal run to start the third. So the Barracuda, they're going to take a couple of risks here and see if they can get something to sneak through. Alexander True along the right wing, has it at the red line. Jumps over the puck. Here's Henrik Samuelson. Hooks off a pass to the left wing boards for Sakura. Sakura top of the dot for Highmore. Sidesteps his attacker. Highmore down to the goal line. Centered it up for Samuelson. Broken away at the last moment by Adam Simic. And Simic out to center ice. We'll begin the march the other direction. Simic into the offensive zone. Centers it out in front of Jeff Glass. And this one pinballs around. Cleared away by Victor Spenberg. To the near corner for Cody Franson. Up the wall for Sakura. Goes across for Highmore. Matthew Highmore will just do a big U-turn and keep this one into his own zone. Now gives it on to Chris Domenico, and Domenico will do likewise. Ice Hogs trying to make a change here. Four and a half to go in the third. Di Domenico break out to center. He's out there with Lewis and Lance Boma. This line has produced so many great offensive looks as well as that Highmore unit we just saw. Boma in the far corner. He'll knock it around the boards. Coming up with it. It's going to be Noah Rod. Rod left wing side. Gets a good hit from Adam Clendenning. Knocked him sideways. Coughed up the puck. Ice Hogs with it. They hurried out to center. Adam Clendenning is going to have a man with them. It's going to be Anthony Lewis. Lewis dances around the defense. Gets a shot away. And a wonderful pad save by Stephon Williams. Great individual play by Anthony Lewis. Just could not complete it. Had a defender on his backside the whole time. Christy Domenico keeps it alive for the Ice Hogs. Left wing circle, backhands it around. His line mates were going off for a change, so San Jose with the clean breakout the other way. They lose it at the red line, though. Peltier, healthy stick. He'll start the march the other direction. William Peltier down the far boards, makes his way behind the net of uh, Williams and comes up the near side. William Peltier holds on to it. Now right wing corner for Luke Johnson. Johnson handing this one over, looking for Tanner Carroll. Can it get it through? Now back to Johnson. Backhander out in front of Williams. Fights it off. Chest pad save. Rebound is there. San Jose will take control. Left wing side out to center ice. Could not be controlled by Weeder, and the Ice Hogs get it right back. They'll dump it in this time, trying to re-rack. William Peltier flushing him out left wing. John Martin gets it as far as the red line, but Carroll turns it right back around, but Johnson was still in the offensive zone. So that's an offside call against the Ice Hogs. 2.51 to go in the third period. The Rockford Ice Hogs in front, 5-3, to three, looking for their fourth consecutive win. Didn't get a chance to really touch upon it in the pregame show, but another note that was passed along by our public relations staff. Ice Hogs winners of 11 of their last 16, 11, 3, 1, and 1. So 13 of their last 16, they have picked up points. And that has them in playoff positioning. Matthew Highmore back on the attack for the Ice Hogs. Left wing side, wrist shot blocked in front of the goaltender. And San Jose will bring it out to center ice. Now Williams is going to come off for the extra man. Barracuda pulled their tender, looking for a little extra boost here. Net is vacant to our right. Ice Hogs down in their defensive zone will handle it. They'll bang it up the right wing glass. Slow roller towards the empty net. Fans were starting to get excited. It was on track to go in, but Michael Bronzinski pulls it away. 2-13 left in regulation. Ice Hogs up by two. San Jose will dump it down far wing. Glass will stop it behind the net, put it back up the far side. Sakura swings it out to center for Anthony Lewis. Has it over the red line. Lewis, empty net, missed it. Gives it on to Boma. Rust us of shot. Could not hold on to it. Lewis back to Boma. Fans over top of it. Couldn't get it again. Lance Boma, another backhander. Can't get it through. San Jose catching a couple of breaks. There is Anthony Lewis and Lance Boma getting multiple attempts at the open net. Maschinder left wing side to the center ice, but Di Domenico has it. Fires it towards the empty net, and that one gets blocked as well. Dropping down to a knee was Dean Zick Simone to get a handle on that one. Out to center ice. In a hurry is Radham Simic, and Simic could not get it across the line. It's Chartier, Chartier for the Barracuda right side. Fires, and this one knocked down in front of glass. Ice Hogs will clear it out. Hit with the high stick, and it'll go all the way down. San Jose will touch up and grab it. No icing on the play. Chartier bringing it back up the far wing. He'll throw it in to that right wing corner for Caleb Herbert. Herbert rushes off a centering pass, nobody there. Comes bouncing out to the blue line for Simic with one minute to go. Adam Simic at the left point, his race shot. That one goes wide. 
Ends up in the left wing corner. Picked up by Emerson Clark. Clark the Simic could not hold on to it. It'll trickle back out to center. 44 seconds left in this one. What a comeback in the third period for the Rockford Ice Dogs. Rockford from below their own goal line. They'll just airmail this one out to center ice. And now we're going to get a man down behind the play. It's Adam Clendenning a little shook up in that far corner. He was down to a knee. And this is going to be a penalty call against San Jose. Well away from the play. Brandon Mashinder, the former ice hog, taking things out on Adam Clendenning. And he was with the Ice Hawks for three seasons. And frustration boiling over for him. Glenn Denning makes his way over to the bench. Looks like he'll be all right. So a power play to close out the game. 33 seconds left in it. Seventh man advantage for the Hawks. Draw to the right side of Stephon Williams. Tyler Sakura will kick it back to the blue line. Aaron Radish will just backhand it down the boards. Angled around by Luke Johnson. Johnson left wing side to Matthew Highmore. Highmore at the left circle. Takes a look around, now goes behind the net for Henrik Samuelson. Out to the blue line for Snuggeroo. Deep slot, right side. He's got Highmore. Spins it to the middle for Samuelson. A one-timer would not go through. 11 seconds to go. In the game, San Jose gets a soft clear. Ice Hawks content to just sit on it. Four seconds to go. Samuelson to Highmore. The Ice Hawks, after a four goal start to the third, come back to defeat the San Jose Barracuda, five to three. Trailing three to one going into the third, the Ice Hawks come roaring back with four tallies in four minutes and 25 seconds. Bulma, Samuelson, Snuggerud, and Highmore here on Hawaiian night down at the Bevo in the heart of the Forest City. We have plenty to talk about. Be sure to stay tuned for the Rockford Ice Dogs post-game show. Hogs, winners of now four straight. Get ready to head back out on the road. 5-3 winners over the Barracuda tonight. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hawks Hockey on the Ice Hawks Broadcast Network. What a fantastic comeback in the third period for your Rockford Ice Hawks on Hawaiian night at the BMO. It looked a little dreary with the Tropical Barracuda giving us a little bit of a hard time in that first and second period. But tell you what, the Ice Hawks came out rolling in the third. When I was thinking back of Ice Hawk Rewind broadcast, this one certainly came to mind. Not just because of the tiki hammies and the fun we had on and off the ice for our Hawaiian theme night, but also how well the Ice Hawks played, especially in that third period. So once again, thank you so much for joining us for another Ice Hawks Rewind, and hopefully that helps you push through the week a little bit uh, smoother. Again, tomorrow is Nurses Day. I talked about in the pregame show just a little bit, but would love to uh, get your nominations for nurses that you you might know for our Ice Hawks Hometown Heroes program and would love to cover the website and social media with uh, recognitions of them and their hard work, especially in this time helping fight COVID-19 in the state line community. And not just here in the state line, but across the globe. We need everybody, everybody's help on deck and doing their part. And our nurses are right there on the front lines, risking their time and risking their health to uh, provide us a, a safer community to live in. So we would love to say thank you. And again, nominate those heroes. It's completely free to do it. We would love for you to join us uh, again uh, on icehawks.com to nominate. And of course, you're donations will be welcome as well. The $10 donation we were talking about, benefiting the Ice Hawks Charitable Foundation, gets you a ticket uh, a ticket to next season's uh, next season's game as well, or, uh, and then a, a ticket for the first responders as well, or essential workers. They'll be donated and given a free ticket, and then all 10 bucks are going to support local community programs here in the uh, state line. So we would love for you guys to join that as well. And then, of course, our next Ice Hawks Rewind, we'll lead off with that and sign off with that. It's Friday night at 6 o'clock. The Ice Hawks transform into the Rockford Peaches to celebrate their pink in the rink night in the fight against cancer uh, back from 2018 when the Ice Hawks would take on the Ontario Reign. I promise you it's going to be another thriller just like tonight's Hawaiian night was. Well, we'll talk to you then. But as always, keep an eye on IceHawks.com and all the social media channels for the latest news and notes. And we'll have some fun for you guys to keep you entertained throughout the week as well. So until then, we'll talk to you on Friday night. Stay home, stay safe, and thanks for joining for another Ice Hogs Rewind.